Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and this week I want to talk about something that's very, very important to me, and I hope it is for you too. I want to give you guys 20 things that I wish I had known in high school. Now, maybe you're about to go into high school, maybe you're already there, and maybe you haven't been there in a long time, but I think that these are all kind of universal, and even in today, whoever you are, wherever you are, in whatever society that you're in, we can probably still learn from these things. So let's get right into it. The first one has a lot to do with high school, and that's the fact that none of it matters. Seriously. I mean, as much as you want it to matter and to mean so much, um, yeah, no. High school, a lot of it doesn't matter. Just because you don't want to do something doesn't mean that you shouldn't do something, like sports. Maybe you're really good at sports and you're just not giving yourself the chance to be good at them. Or maybe you're terrible at sports and you secretly want to be good at them, but you're not giving yourself the opportunity. Seriously, just try new things. It's totally okay. Being friends with people that you're not entirely sure that you're actually gonna click with and really like is kind of important because it lets you know who you are. I promise you, no one else remembers that thing that you think is so embarrassing that keeps you awake at night. Whether you're in high school, you're in an elementary school, you're in freaking middle school, college, you're in a career right now. No one remembers it except for you. And isn't that kind of comforting that it doesn't matter to anyone? That's kind of great. Being a straight A student is not nearly as important as people think. Um, I used to think that I had to have all A's and B's at least. Um, I could never get a C. I had to do this. I had to take all the AP classes, all the honor classes. I had to be this person. And you know what? It did for me, it got me real burnt out and real tired and turned into a real try hard. So I am so glad that I've completed that part of my life because I'm so much better without it. When people tell you that college is going to be so much harder than high school, they are straight up lying to your face because I'm sorry, maybe it's just from my experience, but I went to three different colleges and only one high school. High school was so hard and college was so much easier because you could actually just take a mental break as you needed to. People treated you like an adult as opposed to high school where people treat you kind of like a child in some instances and not in others. It's really confusing. It's it's really refreshing to go to college, seriously. High school goes on for just like two years too long that you're so ready to go and you you can. Get sleep while you can because yes, you're gonna think back to those days in high school when you could have been sleeping, but instead you were out partying and then you got up four hours later and went to school and you were just like a little bit tired and everything was great and everything blah, but like now you can't like look at someone running down the road without wanting to take a nap. So just, just sleep. And also it's better for your brain, it's better for your health. Just do it, take care of yourself. If you are someone who wants a part-time job after school, I applaud you, it's something that I did. It's a great way to build character, it makes you build responsibility, have money management skills, all those great things, but please make sure that you're regulated about it. This is something that I kinda did, but not did. Um, don't work all the time and also don't not work all the time. You have to find a work-life balance and high school is the best time to figure it out because, I mean, you're in high school. No one really expects you to work there for the rest of your life. There will always, in your life, be someone better than you at something. I'm sorry, there's always gonna be someone who's gonna be way better than you, whether they actually are or not. Even if you think that you're the best or you've been told that you're the best, you're gonna think that someone else is better. But hey, that also means that chances are you're better at something than someone else. If you don't want to go to school dances, you don't have to. You don't have to go to homecoming. You don't have to go to prom. You don't have to go to like the spring fling or winter ball or whatever the hell. Like you don't have to do that stuff. But you can if you want to have that type of high school experience. Just make sure that you're not going to regret it by maybe going to one or two a year instead of like all four. Now this one I say with some, you know, disclaimers and stuff, but uh, within reason, feel free to be a rule breaker. 
I mean, this is like the only time in your life that you can legally be a rule breaker without it having like super bad repercussions. Now I'm not saying like put a bunch of dead animals in like the air vents or anything like that. I'm saying more like skip class. That's fine if you really want to, but if you really don't want to, just don't. Like give yourself the liberty to do these things because there will be no other time in your life that you can just do them and there won't be like massive consequences other than you're grounded. If you're like me and you're one of the youngest people in your classes, you know how annoying it was that everyone else got their driver's license before you. But seriously, I learned really quickly that that doesn't matter because all those people, they had to start driving other people to school and I did not. You don't have to partake in gossip and rumors to stay socially afloat. You can totally just say, uh-huh, like listen to what people tell you and just be like, huh, interesting. And then you never have to say anything to anyone ever about it because maybe you just don't care. It doesn't matter. If people like you because you tell them information about other people, they don't like you. They like the information that you give them and that makes me sad. If you are able to just let yourself laugh and be happy around people, you'll be happier in the long run throughout the entire experience of high school. Seriously, I think that the only people who say, I had the best four years of my life when I was in high school, were the ones who let themselves have that experience. This goes for everywhere, but this is something that I always struggled with, which is, if you're someone who doesn't talk a lot, which I never did in high school, I know it's ironic as someone who now talks publicly on the internet, um, put yourself out there, talk more, because who cares? It's all arbitrary anyways. That being said, if you're someone that you know, you talk a lot and you're always talking, just shut up and listen for a little bit because people will notice that and people will respect that and be like, wow, that person's really being introspective with how they're acting and stuff. And that's really cool. Like it's so easy. Try out new classes because honestly, even if they intimidate you, they might broaden your mind like computer science or calculus. Who cares? Go out there, get a C. Who cares? Go to class when you don't want to. Seriously, you will thank yourself in the long run. You don't have to be out and about 24 seven if you don't want to be. Maybe you do, but you don't have to be. You can be a homebody. Who cares? Getting a boyfriend says girlfriend does not matter at all because let's be honest, you're not gonna stay together. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings to hear, but you're not, probably not. And if you do, people are gonna judge you. <laughs> they will. And lastly, never be ashamed of what you love and what you're interested in because it makes you unique and it makes you different from everyone else. And it's so freeing once you start doing that because you realize that you don't care what other people think. You only care about what you think inside here. And that's so important. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. Hope you guys, whoever you are and whatever grade you're at, whatever gender you are, I hope that high school was great for you or is great for you and you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments down below. I'm always checking them out. Check out my other videos over here and I'll see you guys next week for another brand new video. Later.